The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. The Captain Talk Flicks. Movies, TV, sports, flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talk Flicks Podcast. I'm Yost the Captain Cortez, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome the podcast, the podcast of me, the captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you see on the two-way screen, I to get in here and give my unique perspective. Because after 44 years of being on planet Earth, I have developed a unique perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks. I to get in here and tell you about it, because just maybe, just maybe you care and according to the stats you do care you do get you guys care i want to give a shout out to my guys and gals and peeps out in the u.s united states of america nigeria ghana uk canada belgium australia mexico france burkina faso all you guys for checking the podcast i appreciate it greatly Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. I appreciate you guys stopping through and hearing what the captain got to say. And you probably know this already, but I'm going to say it again. Back in his days, I went to school to be a radio DJ. I never got a job, so now I do podcasts. And additionally, I may be the greatest podcaster in the multiverse. Subject to debate, but eh, we'll say yeah, yeah. So thanks for joining me. This is episode 236. Been here before, you know what to expect. If you're brand new, I just told you what I do. Now, let's not waste some more time. Let's get in the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, in my neck of the woods, business is back open. Business is back open, right? Where I'm at, business is back open. So, what did I do when business was back open? The captain said, if we open for business, well, I'm going to go ahead and release a new Sonic Arts project. So we went, we opened for business yesterday on the 15th of June, and I dropped a new album. The album was called Occam's Razor, and it's a, one of my experimental spoken word albums where I just basically do lyrics over like sonic synths, it's like sync synths, like very abstract, ambient synth synths, like synths I'm rapping, rhyming, talking, and rhythm over them. It's a very unique experience. I highly recommend you check it out. I'll put the link below, and you can hear me talk over these spacey synths in rhythmic form yeah you check it out put the link below it's over my band camp page and you can hear me rap it's kind of rap it's kind of rappy synthy spoken wordy just check it out you just hear it be like oh okay that's what you're talking about so anyways yep the album's available Occam's Razor over at Bandcamp. I'll put the link below now let's get on with the podcast like I just said in a promo business is back home it's good. Business is good. It's good. People are out doing things once again. And I'm so glad for the peeps that got their haircut. And I was out and about somewhere. And there was a line for haircuts. You should have seen this line. It was a long line for haircuts. People wanted their haircut. Also, where I was at, where I'm at. Not where I was at, where I'm at. People can now take their bottles back. Now, in the state that I live in, the United States of America, I know this is not everywhere, but where I'm at. If you buy a bottle at the store, like you buy a bottle of pop, or you buy like a juice, or just depend, like a glass bottle, or it's a can of beer, or whatever, right? We have what's called a deposit, right? Deposit. So you can take that with those cans. They charge you deposit, right? So if you buy like a 12 pack, it's like a dime each can of pop, or whatever you get, beer, or whatever. But then when you're done drinking them, you hold on to these cans, and then you take them back, and they give you the money back, right? They give you your deposit back. So, you know, you go there with like 25, um, you know, uh, bottles, get like 250, right? I'm pretty sure the whole mass, right? So that's what's going down. The bottles, people are taking bottles back. People getting haircuts. You know, people getting their nails done. It's a beautiful thing. And I just want to let you guys know, in case you were wondering, what's going on in the captain's sector? What? I hope they're they're able to do what they're doing. Yeah, so that's what we're doing over here, where I'm at. But anyway, I just want to let you know, in case you care. That's what's happening in my neck of woods. But... What I want to talk about today is that the captain, in this time of, of, of staying home, went on binge. I went on a binge. I went on a binge. 
I told about I told you about it multiple times. I went on a binge of the bureau, right? I binged the bureau. I binged the bureau. I'll be honest. I think I may be having binge withdrawal. So I just finished it last week. And I'm kind of feeling like I got some binge withdrawal. I don't even know if that's a real thing. But you got to understand that I spent so much time with this show every day, day in and day out. With these characters, day in and day out. Just engulfed, just in, in the world. I feel like I was in the world. I just feel like I was there, I was in it, right? The same effect is with books. I might read a book, read the book every day, and the book is telling a story of, about a world, and I feel like I'm in the world. It's, it's a very weird, interesting effect. And then with, with this bureau thing, though, like the world was all French. So I wasn't watching really no other TV shows. I was limited talking to people. All I was hearing was French all day, every day. And then when I went out in the world to do my thing, like get groceries and get gas and just my everyday thing, and not really speaking to English or talking to English people, it was a weird kind of weird thing. It was a little weird, like I was so in the, the world of French, French speakers and the, the espionage world and all that. When I went back out to my daily task, it was just kind of, it was a little weird because like I spent so much time with these guys. Which is kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy, sound weird, but it's true. That's how I felt. Obviously, it wasn't really bad, but just a little hint to that. And I think it's part of the binge withdrawal. It doesn't matter what show you're binge. You could binge Star Trek or binge whatever, or you read a book all the time, just to be sucked into that world, and then have to go back to your world. It's like a little bit of adjustment you to happen. Now, when I watch the show, is where it's like once a week. I might watch the show once a week. They they air an episode every week. I don't have that effect. But when you when you watch the show daily. Or you read the book daily for a long periods of time. You're just in the world for so long. I don't know. There's something to that. I'm sure there's something to that. There's probably a legit thing happening. And if you've been shows before, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's probably someone's probably already talked about this. I don't know. I don't really read a lot about that kind of stuff. I never heard. I never heard me say that. But I have a feeling there's probably some truth to that because I felt it. it. Was it was a great? I was a little. I mean, I don't want to say sad. I was a little sad. I be. I was a. Yeah, that's, that's true. I was a little sad that I had to, to leave that world because it was such a great ride. I told you, I'm going to say it again. I told you how great the bureau was. The bureau was so good. And now that I'm not there no more, it's like, I'm a little sad, a little sad. A little, yeah, I'll be honest, a little sad about it because it, yeah, it's so powerful, the show. But also, in the last month, I felt like I was traveling the globe. Because like all the shows I were watching were foreign shows, right? You know, I watched this show in Finland, the sitcom in Finland, for like a week and a half, two weeks. I watched Berlin Station, which is an American show, but it's set in Germany. So it's a little, there's a lot of German in it. A lot of German locations. I watched The Bureau, which is all French. French, Farsi, Arabic, a little bit of English, but mostly French. So all my, and then also, now I'm, now I'm watching, oh, now I'm watching... Um, Deutsch, Deutschland 86 which is all German mostly German so like the last month and a half I've just been consuming media with foreign languages in it right and that's part of the effect when I said with the store like readjusting to to people talking English <laughs> it's crazy it sounds crazy but it's legitly true but you hear me doing this podcast so I'm so, I, didn't, I didn't have that bad of an effect on me but I felt, I felt a little bit weird like I didn't really travel nowhere I was sitting in the couch, on the couch in my casa, right? But I felt like I traveled somewhere. It's, it's very, it's a very weird thing, very strange. But I felt that way because I was so in the, I was so into the show. And then one additional thing too, as I watched these different shows, I would Google some of the locations of these shows. And they were like real locations, right? So I Google it and look it up and look, you know, what the, you know, where was that? It just added to the realness of it. So I felt like I traveled. When I didn't travel. And I was so consumed by all these foreign languages, didn't speak no English to nobody, just watching all this foreign stuff. I don't know, I felt a little like traveling a little bit. Oh, it's a very weird situation. I, 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 I'm glad I did it. But um, normally, around this time period, uh, well, actually like a month ago, there were usually shows I would watch on TV. But due to the coronavirus and the Rona and all this mess, everything been t- turned upside down. Things I would normally check on the tube, sports, or you know, these shows I normally watch have all been changed, right? So I'm it's, it's almost it's almost like the summertime of the summer. There's not a lot of stuff on the tube, so I watch other stuff. 
So just started consuming all this foreign stuff. And I'm not done. There's some other foreign things I want to watch as well. So the whole summer could be the summer of foreign flicks. <laughs> I, might, I might forget how to speak English. <laughs> uh, at the end of the summer, I'll forget how to speak English and be, be fluent in five languages. Would be crazy. But no, that, that's not going to happen, obviously. Joking. But it feels that way, to be honest with you. So anyways, I didn't take just take a binge. I binge foreign stuff, which is a weird, weird effect. I'm sure some scientist guy or some scholarly guy that, or lady that works at a university has probably already studied this and did a paper about it. I bet you if I went over to uh, academia, you know, the acad- academia, if you're familiar with the website, they got a lot of research papers on there. I bet you, I bet you if I went over to academia, probably could find a study on this somewhere. Um, yeah, uh, binging withdrawal. I appreciate it. It's probably, probably a legit thing. But anyways, I don't want to talk about this week because that's what I'm feeling. Like this week, I like, just finished up the Bureau, which, but but actually, the Bureau starts back up, I think the 18th. So I had to withdraw from the Bureau, but it's going to suck me right back in because we're back at it this season. So I had to go through the withdrawal all over again. <laughs> it's a crazy weird thing. But anyways, um, yeah, that's all I want to talk about this week. Now, I may sound a little off today because... I'm a little tired. I'm a little worn out. This heat. You know, wearing a mask on my face when I gotta go out. It's just, it's just getting old. I feel like my energy levels have drained. I feel, I mean, actually, I feel a little tired right now. But I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing these because I know my peeps want to hear this podcast. I know you're dying to hear it. Like, what's the gap going to talk about this week? We got to know because we're just curious. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm very tired. I'm, I'm very tired. But anyways, um, yeah, so I appreciate you joining me. That's all I want to talk about this week was the withdrawal binge. And maybe that my my lack of being able to, 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 to do this well today is part of the binge, binge withdrawal. Seriously, I really feel it. Like, no joke. But um, yeah, so thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Gratitude, gratitude. Just for the love of podcasting. I see the stats are going. I see you guys at these other countries checking the podcast. I appreciate that. We're going to grow this. And grow this. Be big like Joe Rogan. <laughs> or maybe not. But anyways, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you. First mend yourself and then mend others. Until next time, it's the Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.